Hello everybody! In this spreadsheet tutorial we're going to go over how to create random numbers and random samples using LibreOffice Calc. To create a simple random number we can use the RAND function. Let's go up to the function wizard, click the button, and we can see that RAND returns a random number between 0 and 1. Let's hit OK. Let's go ahead and delete that. To use the RAND function just simply hit equals type out RAND, and put in an empty set of round brackets. And that will give you your random number. Now one thing you'll notice is when you use these random functions, these numbers will continue to change unless you copy and paste them as values. Another thing you could do if you wanted to make this number bigger is to simply multiply it by some number. For our next example, we're going to use the RAND between function. If you go up to the function wizard again, we can see that ram between returns a random integer between the numbers you specify. So let's delete it, hit equals, type out ram between, and for the first argument, that's going to be the smallest number or the bottom. Let's just make it 1. Put in a comma, and for the second argument, that's going to be the largest number or the top. Let's put in 25. And you can see here we have a random number between 1 and 25. Now if you're on a PC, you can hit F9 to change that number. On a Mac, it's function F9. And each time you hit function F9, these random numbers will change. Like that. Okay? Now as we mentioned, if you don't want them to change, you can copy them. So hit Control c or Command-C right click, paste special, hover over this box here where it says values only, click it, and now these cells where the random functions were, the function is gone and we just are left with a number. Next, let's say you wanted to do a random sample and just choose a letter from this set of letters here, the alphabet. To do that, you can use the index function along with the ran between function. So let's go ahead and delete that. Hit equals index. For the first argument, we're going to put in the reference, which are all these letters. Now to make this a little bit easier to put in, let's go up here. Let's put in a comma. And for the second argument, we're going to use the ran between function. Now we know that this data set with the letters is the alphabet, so for the bottom let's put in 1 and the top let's put in 26. Let's hit enter. And we get our random sample, D, from this data set, the alphabet. Now if you wanted to change that, you can use F9 or function F9, like that. Next, let's say that we wanted to choose five letters at random from this data set. One way we could do that is to put a random number next to each of these letters. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can choose the row or the column. Let's choose the row and click the drop down. And then go down here to random number. If you wanted to change your distribution minimum or maximum, you could do that. But let's just leave it as is and hit OK and that should put a random number next to each of these letters. Now I don't think you have to worry about these numbers repeating. However, if you ever wanted to check it, let's show you how you can do that. Let's go to the Duplicates tab, and one way you can see duplicates is to go up to Format, then go to Conditional Formatting, choose Condition. We want this drop-down to be Cell Value Is, then for this drop down, we want to go to duplicate. For our style, let's choose a new style. Go to background, and let's choose orange. Let's hit OK. And make sure that you put all your data in the range where you want to check for duplicates. So let's go ahead and select all the data here. Now we should be able to hit OK, and any of the letters that are duplicates will be highlighted orange. Okay, so you can see that A has a duplicate, B and D do not, but C and E do. Now, if you'd like to get rid of those duplicates, we can go up to Data, More Filters, Advanced Filter, 
Go ahead and select the data and make sure you include the header. Go to Options and click this No Duplications. Click OK. And that will go ahead and get rid of all of the duplicates. So let's go back to our tab. And as we mentioned, I don't think you have to worry about that for these numbers. But just in case you wanted to check, you can do that. Now, let's go ahead and sort this data set by the numbers. So let's go up to the toolbar and choose Sort Ascending. So if you just wanted to choose five letters at random, you could just go ahead and select these top five letters, copy them, and paste them, and then use them as needed. Okay, so that's one way that you can do a random sample from text or letters. Now let's go over a way that you could do a sample with numbers. Now you probably could use this same technique, but let's go over a technique using the statistics in the data tab. So let's go up to data, and then go to statistics, and then we're going to go to sampling. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have our input range correct. So let's go ahead and select this and choose our numbers. Then we want to put where we want our results to be displayed, and we want them to be right here. For the sampling method, we want random, and for our sample size, we want 10. Let's go ahead and click OK, and here we get 10 random samples chosen from this larger data set. Okay? That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.